Hi Cancer, welcome to your March general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Cancer. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. Don't only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear this message. Hi Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Cancer. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Cancer and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. Alright Cancer, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl to clear and set the energy, so let's take a moment to breathe in, to focus on the energies of love and romance before we pull the cards. All right, so let's see what's going on in March for my Cancers in Love and Romance. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anyone dealing with a Cancer, what do you need to know about your love life in March? And with this reading, Cancer, I am tuning into an energy in or around your energetic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you right now in this moment. Whether you're single or taken, whether you're together or apart from this person, let's see who's coming through for your reading and why and what spirit wants you to know about this situation. Cancer, we have love yourself first. Sagittarius got this card. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or if you have strong Sagittarius in your chart, I suggest checking out the Sagittarius reading to see if there's messages for you there. But Cancer, there's someone that you felt was taking you for granted, wasn't taking you seriously is kind of what I'm hearing, and you had to let them know what was up because their behaviors, their expectations was not what you're all about. And it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So Cancer, there's something that you have or are going to set your foot down about. Not letting this person just come in whenever they want to, in and out of your life, expecting you to wait. That is not the vibe you're in, Cancer. And I think this person's really starting to get that. The letter L is sticking out to me, as in Luke, as in... Oh God, Lizzie, first, middle, last, initial may mean something to someone. Maybe someone could have two L's in their name. Let's keep pulling cards. Water, emotions are at their peak. Whoa, okay. You could be dealing with another water sign, another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You know, Cancer, I do feel that you almost feel as if this person used you at your emotions into getting contact with you again you know, would pull at your heartstrings, would say the things that your ego may want to hear. I miss you. I need you. I want you. But you're not letting that affect you anymore. And you know what, Cancer? I almost feel as if someone is taking this a little bit more hard than they thought as far as you not texting back, calling back, you not engaging with this person, you stepping away from this. It's getting them a little bit in their emotions. We'll pull more cards. I want to see if that's more of like an awakening or if that's more of a stewing type of thing but yeah cancer i think they really weren't expecting this from you i don't know why but they may have been expecting that they could just be entitled to your time to your energy you're showing them that's not the case and it's something that's kind of shocking them almost maybe because before you used to give them the benefit of the doubt not this time around and something was the last straw something big, whether it was what they didn't do, ghosting you, leaving you again when you really thought that whole segment of this connection was over with, they did something again that just really made it done for you. What do they want to tell Cancer that they haven't told Cancer? Someone could always wear a hat, like a baseball hat, a beanie. Blame it all on my ego. They want you to. I mean, I, they have a big ego. 
and their ego doesn't like to get triggered. Their ego doesn't like to get involved, I guess, as far as showing you what they really feel maybe with the water energy. So yeah, I think this person is just on an ego trip. I think you've kind of started to pick up on this, but something is really making it full understanding for you that this person is just ego based and they'll do anything to kind of protect that ego. And that's why it can't work right now, Cancer. That's why you have to kind of take a step back, why you have to close yourself off. And for some of what you, for some of you with water heal, you know, I almost feel some of you blame yourselves for getting involved with this person. You kind of kick yourself, beat yourself up over for being involved with this person. But I do feel spirit is telling me there is something you had to learn through this connection with this person. For a lot of you, it was your self-worth. All right, let's dive right on in with the tarot. With the tarot, I'm going to ask how do they feel about you right now? What do they think of you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you, Cancer? What are they really hoping is going to happen and unfold between the two of you? And what are they afraid of? Yeah. I mean, so far we have two major arcanas out, and that's Justice and the World card. Mm -hmm. And now Judgment. <sighs> yeah. Ooh, and Strength. Cancer. This is a major time for you. And I feel it's self-realization, self-healing in regards to what you want from love and romance. And it's through cutting ties with this person that it's kind of accelerating you, your self-awareness. Your self-confidence, your self-esteem is really starting to be healed and grown through this, through what you're deciding to do with this and holding that, holding it. And this person may get mad. This person may get huffy and puffy. They may start acting on their ego, talking crap about you. Let them, let them stew. Because I think even by trying to kick and fuss in some way is just an attempt to get your attention. And I wouldn't give it to them, Cancer. All right, I'm going to pull all the cards out first and then throw them out there. But now we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're afraid you're just going to be guarded forever with this person. That you just are never going to trust them again. Never open up to them again. That you're going to have a wall. That you may be aggressive in a way that they just did not see coming with you. But they brought this out of you, Cancer. And I don't even think it's a bad thing. I think it's a positive thing that you're standing up for yourself. But of the deck, the emperor. Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries or someone with strong Aries in their chart. Does not have to be the case. I feel this is you taking control back of the situation. I feel this is you calling the shots. If this is them, maybe they thought they could have things their way, the way they wanted to. Maybe what really drew you to this person was their masculinity. And we all have feminine and masculine energies within each and every one of us. I'm not saying this has to do with gender or sex. What I'm saying is that maybe this person was the first to hit on you, was pretty persistent about it. Maybe even in the past where you tried to put boundaries up, barriers up, they sought to break them down. You're taking your power back in this situation, Cancer. Anything that they took from you that may have made you have a dent in your self-worth, your self-love, your self-care, you're restructuring that. And I think that they're seeing you are serious this time around. You're not joking around anymore. If they can't give you what you want, you know what you have to do to maintain your own well-being. With the emperor in the background here, this could be someone that is much older than you. For some of you, this could be the parent of your child for a few of you, okay? But with the emperor, for most of you, I just feel as if you have decided that despite how hurt you are, despite how upset you may be, that although you waited for this person to change, you waited for them to evolve, they just weren't going to do it, that their ego was too much involved, that it couldn't allow the process of you guys better understanding each other, you growing with each other, you healing each other, that wasn't going to happen with the place their ego was in. 
they're too protective of their own feelings. They're too protective of their own ego. And it just wasn't going to work. So you made the choice to boss up, to drop it, to let it go. And even if it was hard, I think you guys made the right choice and the right decision. Because now they're looking your way in a different way they didn't before. In a way that they are seeing you are holding yourself to a pillar of respect and integrity. And that's where I even think for some of you, even if they've been quiet, they know not to approach you because they know you're going to give them a mouthful or even just your energy is defensive. They can't approach you unless they're going to do it correctly. And I don't think they're in the place right now to do it correctly with this ego going on here. So let's jump right on in. How they feel about you is justice. Libra energy. So Cancer, they know you're giving to them what is due. It's no question here, especially someone who may be a player, a playette, someone who's non-committal, someone who is aware that they used your emotions against you. They feel as if you, you know, whether they like to admit it or not, deep, deep down, I think they know you're doing what's right. Someone could work in law, law enforcement, as I always like to say with the justice card being out. But they feel as if, you know, despite whether they get mad about it, upset about it, because they're not getting their way anymore, as far as how you used to react, how you used to open up, they know in their heart it's the right thing to do what you're doing. And I think that's what upsets them the most. That is really what's kind of making them look on the inside the most. But they feel this is their due. They can't deny that. They're just surprised by it. Because what they think about you and think about this connection is the Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. If this is how they think about you, they may see that you're up to doing things. You are going out more. You're traveling maybe. You're starting new projects. You're off to newer and better. And it doesn't even look like you're looking back at this. I almost feel as if Cancer, this is moving forward with the Ace, uh, excuse me, the Eight of Wands. Going to new distances, experiencing new things. And they see you're not chasing them. They see you're not reaching out. They see you're not trying to call. They want to reach out. They want to call you. And maybe in the past they have. But you have just not been responding. You haven't been giving them any sort of serious outlook on this. I almost feel cancer. You definitely left this person on red. And with the eight of wands too, maybe they thought the way to get you back was through a sexual way. Sending some sort of nude or sending you some sort of sexual text message. It didn't impress you. And they may be a little embarrassed by that too. What they like the most about you is the Queen of Pentacles. Earth energy, particularly Capricorn energy. So Cancer, they like the way you dress. They like the way you style yourself. Your fashion sense, the way you do your hair for some of you, the way you do your makeup. They're really attracted to that. But yeah, it is very surface level for some of you guys. They do like the way you look. But what more about me? Do you like my intellect? Do you like my care? Do you like my emotions? Do you like how passionate I am? Do you like how talented and skilled I am? Or is it all just face and body? For some of you, yeah, if they were ever in the mind to commit, they may view you as someone that would be loyal, generous, giving. But this is the thing about the Queen of Pentacles. A lot of people I feel miss. Yes, the Queen of Pentacles is generous, but the Queen of Pentacles knows their worth and knows when they're being taken advantage of. And right where the flow of giving is out there, if they see that they're being played, they're being used, that flow gets cut. And you're not getting the same generosity that you once did from the Queen of Pentacles.
what they don't like about you is the world card. So fixed energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy here. You decided it was a wrap and that was out of their control. Maybe usually or before they felt like they always had the ball in their court. Not this time. And it's hitting them hard. It's hitting their ego pretty hard, knowing that you were the one that dropped the mic or you were the one to put the final clothes in it, the final say in it. They always want to have the final say. It kind of feels like it seems. For some of you, you block them on social media or you block their number. And now they can't get a hold of you electronically through the World Wide Web. Others of you, if distance was an issue, maybe they always use that as an excuse. You live too far. What can we really have? Well, then why do you keep calling if that's how you really feel? But with the world too, maybe they struggled with the fact you guys came from different parts of the world, different cultures, different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different beliefs maybe, spiritual beliefs, religious beliefs. And you're not playing to their ego anymore, Cancer. I don't ever think you did that in a conscious way, but I think for some of you, you knew this person was confident or cocky, even to some extent. And maybe in some ways, knowingly or not, you did know how to boost their ego, but you're not doing it anymore. And that's something they don't like either about this situation. Someone could be born near the tiger. I'm seeing, I'm really drawn to this tiger here in the corner of this card. But I think that's the feisty energy maybe that you have now. I, they really didn't see it coming. But now they know it. They sense it. They feel it. Or it's just what you, the way you've been communicating to them the last few conversations you've had. What they like the most about this connection is judgment. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I also feel Scorpio energy with this card here personally. So for some of you, I feel this is what was, you know, going on in the connection before this final nail happened. Um, yeah, before they called when this connection was going to happen, when it was going to stop, they felt... They had power and sense of bringing this back up to life and when letting it die out or dead out. And maybe even if you're kind of showing a different energy now, they're hoping it'll go back to that, right? Cancer, I feel with this judgment card too, yeah, that they felt like for a long time, again, whether this is true or not, not everyone's perspectives of us are true, but what they saw from this and their own eyes from this, yeah, that they had the judgment calls on almost everything. And even for some of you, like, the weird thing about it was, like, they never wanted to commit. They never wanted to make it exclusive. But the second they thought you were about to move on, the second they thought you were going out with someone that they could have perceived to be as you dating or flirting with new people... That's when they try to give you that text message. That's when they try to give you that phone call. And that is toxic. Wanting me only the way you want me, that doesn't make me happy. That doesn't make me feel fulfilled. And the second I start to, you know, differentiate from that through my behavior, through my patterns that I'm trying to learn from myself, you want to blow the whistle on it? That's how it feels, Cancer. And it's like they wanted you, but they didn't want you. I, I hope you get what I'm saying. What they don't like about this connection is the strength card. And this is something to note, Cancer. Leo energy. That you've taken your power back. That you're strong enough now to say no and to hold it that you're not budging, even if it gets tempting at times, whether there are days where you feel lonelier, there's days where you miss them, there's days where you think about them, you really do hold back. 
You use your strength within yourself and your self-worth to not allow yourself to reach back out to this person again. And they hate the fact you're holding back. I feel now, especially if you were the one to not reply to their last text message, their last phone call, they really are hoping you'll just give in and you're not. Even for some of you, you've had a glow up. I don't know, maybe some of you started to work out more, do strength training, had a change in the way you dress, that you're dressing a lot more um, in a way that you're purposely meaning to attract new interests in your life. They hate that. They hate that you're not like on the floor in a field position crying over it. And maybe that has happened for you guys, but you're not showing them that. And that's what they can't stand is that you're getting your power back. You're getting your strength back to move forward and to move on and to do what's right for you. So cancer, I got to say, if they are trying to come back or if they do throw a fit just to get your attention, this is the truth about them right now. Despite what they may want to tell you to sway your emotions, it, they're an ego world. They're egocentric. And yes, people can change, but I don't think spirit wants you to entertain this right now until they show change. But also, Cancer, you know, quite honestly, with the cards here, I don't think they want to. So, you know, if you do struggle with that message, with that call, with wanting to reach back out, for some of you, I just want to say, I don't think you're going to get what you're hoping for, what they're trying to tempt you with. And even if energetically they're trying to pull you in, resist it. I mean, that's just my opinion. We all have free will. Do what you want. But what I'm seeing here is someone that is very much in a way of wanting self-fulfillment. And again, cross-watcher, don't, don't have a crap attack in the comments. Just switch it around if this is cancer doing this. Highest hopes, nine of cups in reverse. Another thing to note here, they're hoping you're not happy without them. They hope you're missing them. They hope that you, in some way, are still codependent with them, codependent on their validation, codependent in their confirmation. They're hoping you're not doing as well as you may be putting out on social media as you may be seem to be if people are talking about you saying yeah cancer's doing great honestly when they ask about you they're hoping that's really not the case here and what kind of thing is that that someone who has romantic feelings or intentions towards you doesn't want you to be happy without them pisces energy by the way i don't know if i said that And almost cancer too, like if it looks like you're on the come up in some way, especially on with the world card, like if you are, let's just say um, a social media influencer looking for that content creating, have an online business, something along those ways. For some of you, they're hoping you'll fail. Mm -mm. I don't like that at all, cancer. Deepest fears, the seven of wands, Leo energy. So for some of you, yeah, just fighting this, fighting them, resisting them, having a wall up with them, a guard up with them, not trusting them. For some of you, it's just almost as if the longer it takes for you to get back to them, the longer it takes for you guys to start this again, the more angry they're getting. It feels that. And if you guys know this person has a bad temper, then you know this message is for this situation. It's like they're stewing. What is those called? Like a crock pot, you know? They're sitting with, you know, all the things that were thrown in there, the rejection, the betrayal, the hurt of you moving on and moving ahead. It just keeps on bubbling. It's just marinating. And they're just sitting with that. 
and they're afraid that it's going to get to a point where they can't wait anymore and they're going to be impulsive. But yeah, I mean, if their tactics don't work of seducing you, I feel they may just say something nasty to you, Cancer. And I think that's the Seven of Wands is what you're afraid of as well. So do what you can to protect yourself, protect your energy, if that is a situation for you. That's no bueno. Someone could uh, be taking like kickboxing or like jujitsu, Muay Thai, maybe a fighter like that in some sense. Anyway, Cancer, to see the likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to happen and unfold, in this from now to the end of March, what are they going to do? We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome and just dive deeper into this. So if you do have more questions, if you're in this right now, let's go ahead and get them answered. And if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Cancer, I really hope that this reading has resonated with you. I hope it's given you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever it is you've been going through in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Cancer, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Cancer.